How old is your son? She said, he is five years old. He said, run home because you are five years late. You are five years late. So run home and start to use those rules. You can't say, oh, it's still Prophet Muhammad He helped us in parenting by saying seven and seven and seven. The first seven you do this, the second seven you do this, the third seven you do this, and then you know what, let go. And don't worry, because if for 21 years you were working on this project, don't worry. Your son or daughter are, are there for you. Because, because after 21 years, your son learned, uh, or daughter, how to pray, how to respect, how to learn, how, 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 all of this. So we will inshallah talk about that. We will talk about, you know, how husbands and wives should be with each other, how they should behave when they are expecting, you know, their uh, firstborn, how they should deal with each other in old age, and, you know, try to talk about family issues. However, if for some reason, the world witnesses something that requires us to pay attention to as a current issue, we will suspend the talking about the family to deal with the current issues that this halaqa is all about. If, if the current issues have been dealt with and now we can go back, we will go back to the family. Because there's nothing more current than the family. The family is current all the time because all of us are going to deal with it. Jazakumullah khair for your attention. If you have any comment, any question, I don't mind the questions being said, you know, openly. Uh, however, however, if you would like me to deal with a specific example of marriage, relationship, parenting, anything, I will take it from you and I'll be very discreet without making it sound specific so that you will not have to worry that, oh, I'm, I'm going now to be exposed to everybody and everybody is going to know my story. No, 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 I won't do that. I won't do that. You can write your issue, I will deal with it and I will discuss it in a discreet fashion. Now, is there any comment, any question, anything? Yes, sir. Uh, what is the minimum age to marry? Uh, the minimum age to marry is what Rasulullah said in his hadith without giving it a number. He said, Ya ma'ashar al-shabab, man istata'a minkum ul-ba'ata falyatazawwaj. He said, young people, whosoever becomes able to support a family, let him hurry up and go and get married. Now, uh, this means that if you establish yourself and now you are capable to become awam, awam is not a joke. It is not a joke. So you cannot just go and get married because, oh, I, I, I like her. The Quran, that's why mother, Mother, which by the way is something I don't understand why. Whenever I go to do nikah, I ask the two fathers, did you discuss mother? They say, oh, no, 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 we, we, we really do. It's not uh, something that we want to talk about. What do you mean you don't want to talk about it? Mother, mother is one of the two conditions of Islamic marriage. The other being that it is public, it's open. So mother is the token that, yes, I am prepared to support the family. If you become able, and if you are now, you finished your education, you have a job, you, you feel mature enough to look after a family, uh, you feel that uh, you have certain urges
that you need to satisfy and if you do not now get married and you have the ability then go ahead and don't wait because if you don't have the ability to support the family from Prophet said so until then go and fast it's not an excuse to say but I have certain urges I can't help it you can't say that Islam is controlling everything no, you've got to control. Because fasting, fasting physically, makes your desire drops down tremendously. You know, people who fast, they don't have that urge, the physical urge. So go and fast. When you become able to support the family, run. Find somebody. Any other questions? For, for the female, it's the age, it's the question. It's, it doesn't require any woman. Yeah. Okay. Now, we are talking about the male, or my answer was about the male, but the female, okay, when the female is past puberty, okay, then she is to be married bil ma'aruf. And this is something that I've been finding many people who don't understand the meaning of al-ma'ruf and al-munkar. Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us in the Quran al-amr kuntum khayra ummati ukhrijat nas ta'muruna bil-ma'rufi wa tanhawna an al-munkar. Why didn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say you command goodness ta'muruna bil-khayri wa tanhawna an al-sharr. Isn't this what we understand? Isn't this what we understand? Answer me, please, brother. Isn't that what we understand? Okay, but it says ma'roof. Ma'roof means that which is uh, uh, known to people to be good. Munka, recognized by people to be evil or unacceptable. Munka. Now, it was, it was a ma'roof at the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to marry as young as Aisha was married. It was a ma'roof. Had the non-Muslims of Quraysh and Mecca found that this is it, now we can attack. They would have used the marriage of Rasulullah to Aisha to be the first target. But nobody talked about it. Nobody. Because it was not an issue. Now we are making an issue because we are using today's ma'roof to understand that day's ma'roof. And that is why the question is for females age if it is a ma'roof in Yemen, for example, for a 13 years old female or 12 years old female to be married at that age, that's ma'roof. I don't allow myself, nor would I allow somebody living in Canada to go and criticize a cultural practice in Yemen. But I will not force my daughter in Canada simply because my grandmother got married at age that My mother got married when she was 14. She had my oldest brother when she was 15. When I tell my daughters this, they're, oh, 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 how horrible. They are terrified. They are scared when I tell them this. But that's the truth. That's the truth. Because in her time, it was a ma'roof. It was a ma'roof. Therefore, today, if we want to make a decision, we have to find out what is ma'roof to be good among girls. And then we allow them to be married in that age or at that age.
Now, now again, again, uh, <coughs> these are cultural practices that should be judged within the context of Yemeni understanding. And by that, I'm not escaping from answering the question. No, I'm not saying I don't want to answer no. I am saying that if we would now stand and judge something that we read on the internet that is happening in Yemen, we will be violating the rule that we should judge everything according to what is ma'roof in that particular culture. Now, if that is something uh, their society feels comfortable with, I will not say it's good. I will say this is what cultures are all about. But I will not say that's horrible. I won't. But if it is happening in Canada, I, I will call the police. I will call the police if it is happening in Canada. But you know, let us let us establish certain principles and stand by them. Even even if the example is so, uh, it is. Uh, I mean, very shocking, very shocking. Thirty five and six, but the rule is. You know, that's, that's their cultural practice. And you know what? The world will be a much better place if we stop judging each other. Now, there are people now in Canada already, you know, supporting Manal al-Sharif or against Manal al-Sharif and this. We are in Canada. The Saudi society has a certain uh, 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 elements for the culture that it would not be appropriate if a woman runs into an accident and she does not have a CAA to go and help her or deal with it, she will be placed in a very awkward situation. And they, so we have to say, let them solve their problem of women driving or not driving. Uh, this, is, this is how we should look at things. Uh, if, let's say, uh, you know, uh, the question of uh, niqab in Canada, we cannot in Egypt or Saudi Arabia condemn what Canada is doing about the niqab because, again, we have to be fair. What is ma'roof in Canada is that when they see those images, they get scared, they get terrified, they say, uh, this is. Uh, not familiar to us, and they react. So we've got to help them deal better with that which is ma'ruf in a nice way, without sacrificing our tradition. We will sit with them, we will say, this means that, this means that, this, you know, bil ma'ruf, again. Instead of engaging each other in a fighting mode, we don't need to do that. We tell them, you have your culture and I have my culture. Even among Muslims, even among Muslims, you will find you know, that there are differences among the Arabs and the Pakistanis and the Turks. Even among the Arabs, you, know, you will find differences between those from Morocco and those from Palestine and those from Saudi Arabia. Even among Pakistanis, people from Lahore are different from people from Karachi, from people... That's how it is. Yes, brother. because uh, that would set what is ma'roof in regard to the age of marriage without violating the rights of people to get married. They are organized. But will it be against Sharia for the government to legislate that women 